Hi, this is Minister Gail with Search for Truth 2, also known as Light for Living, Home Bible Study. This can be found on the Pentecostal Publishers House website, the charts and all the lessons. Today we are going to go over charts 5E through H. We are covering Prophecy in the Bible. Lesson 1, Chart 5E through H. Prophecy says, Defensive aircraft and the four horses of revelations. Israel will be regathered. Wars and rumors of wars will be increasing. And we will go over the 666 system, also known as CERN. A recap from five charts, five A, B, C, D, it's happening now, was lust, false Christs and cults, famines, pestilence and earthquakes, and witchcraft. Lesson 1, Chart 5E, Defensive Aircraft and the Four Horses of Revelations. We're going to cover both these topics. Defensive Aircraft, the newest aircraft are drones and the E-foil. One E-foil is $6,399. Here is a large drone, which is used in Ukraine, the war of Ukraine that's going on right now. Unmanned aircraft. Isaiah 31 and 5. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. And he is defending Jerusalem now and Ukraine. The Four Horses of Revelations, which is the end of Gentile south time of salvation. Gentile time of salvation is coming to an end. Zechariah 1 and 2. The Lord hath been sore displeased with your fathers. Zechariah 1 3. Therefore say thou unto them, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. The Lord is also Jehovah, or Jehovah, if you say it in Latin. Zechariah 1, 4. Be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways, and from your evil doings. But they did not hear, nor hearken unto me, saith the Lord. And so you have in 200 to 259 A.D., the Pharisaical Jews who did not believe in Jesus and didn't follow the Jewish Peter or the Rabbi Paul in the New Testament created a book for black magic using Kabbalah astrology and mysticism. And the Bible, the New Testament, John wrote the book of Revelations. He finished it about 105 AD. So these are books and religions added to the original scriptures and writings by the Jewish scribes. And this is the Islamic religion, and I'll show you how it follows Hinduism. And this is Kaaba, which means cube in Islam, for the black cube to Allah. These are both false religions, led by false prophets. Zechariah 1, 6, But my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants, the prophets, 
Did they not take hold of your fathers? And they returned and said, Like as the Lord of hosts thought to do to unto us, according to our ways and according to our doings, so hath he dealt with us. And the New Testament, New Covenant of Salvation, for the Jews first, then the Gentiles, all races and backgrounds, Peter spoke and gave a new covenant of salvation in Acts 2, 4, and 10, and the rabbi Paul, who was Jewish, in Acts 9, 19, and 22. And you need to obey the new covenant for salvation after Jesus died on the cross for your sins, both Jew and Gentile. Zechariah 1, 8. I saw by night, and behold, a man riding upon a red horse, and he stood among the myrtle trees that were in the bottom, and behind him were their red horses, speckled and white. Zechariah 1, 9. Then said I, O my Lord, what are these? And the angel that talked with me said unto me, I will show thee what these be, the four horses of Revelations. Zechariah 1.15, And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. Revelation 6.1, And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, the four horses, come and see. The Great Deceivers of Salvation Revelation 6 and 2, which is the same as Zechariah 1, 8. And I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. The white horse, the first seal was open. See the upside down crosses of Lucifer. This is a religion from Lucifer. And his name is also Satan, which means the accuser of the brethren. Same name, same angel kicked out of heaven. Pantheism, worship to many gods and goddesses. The confusion is of the devil. How many saints do you pray to that cannot hear you? The dead cannot hear you, not even Mary. She is in heaven, and she cannot hear you either. This is confusion of the devil. And all the gods and goddesses of all the pagan religions in the Old Testament, the Catholic Church changed those pagan gods and goddesses into saints of their church, but not of the church of the Bible. Matthew 24, 11 through 12. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. He will speak peace, deceiving many, with his Pax Romana. From Italy, the popes. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly. They are ravening wolves. In 1988, Pope John Paul II urged the nation's bishops to fight the spread of fundamentalist religious sects. And that would be the ones who follow the word of God, a person who believes in strict literal interpretation of scripture in a religion. A fundamentalist is someone who takes the word at its heart. The word as written, not adding to it or changing it. As we are warned in Revelations 22, you will get plagues 
when you add and change the Word of God. Bowing to an image. We are warned not to make an image or statues of anything in heaven or on earth, on earth, Deuteronomy 5 and Exodus 20, which is in the Ten Commandments, which the Catholic Church has completely removed out of the Ten Commandments on their website. It's in their Bible, but they don't practice what God said not to do. Don't make an image nor bow down to it. Isaiah 13, 19, in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Isaiah 28 and 7, but they also have erred through wine, and through strong drink are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision, they stumble in judgment. A warning to the Catholic Church. Revelations 14 and 8, And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. What did they introduce and add to the word? I will show you. Isaiah 28 and 8. For all the tables are full of vomit and filthiness, so that there is no place clean. And the woman who sits on the beast, the woman of false religions, of all the false religions that God never created in the world, comes from the woman on the beast, the harlot. She's the whore because she has gone against the word of God, the true love of salvation. Hindi Trimurti, God is three persons, which I covered in the last lesson, is confusion, is of the devil, blurred vision, and not able to see clearly. The Holy Trinity in Hindi, called the Trimurti, notice the three, Brahma, Shiva, and Vishnu, Creator, chaos, and preserver, stretching a lie into the truth, the Roman Catholic emperors of Rome in 325 AD adopted the Hindi Trimurti, goddess three person philosophy and confusion, and made up goddess three persons, see the blurred vision, not able to see clearly. They brought confusion into the church, stretching a lie into a truth. Nothing but confusion. They took the goddess three persons from Hinduism and turned it into a new religion called Catholicism, inserting the Trinity doctrine into the Word of God. See the hat? Three for Trinity. Here's the hat. Three for Trinity. Three heads. Three heads, confusion stretching a lie into truth. Ecclesiastes 1, 9 through 2, The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So they came up with this new Religion in 325 A.D., trying to make everybody happy, combining Roman mythology with Christianity because Rome was ruling Jerusalem at the time of the First Covenant. And they created their own religion. Catholicism means to insert doctrine. So is it the Shiva of India or the Pope of Rome? See the similarity with the three and the moon, the snake, the similarity. And then here is Shiva, which is the second goddess person in their godhead. And there's the and this is what's on 
the Roman altar is the Shiva altar. They have the monstrance which holds the wafer on the altar. They are giving honor to Shiva, the god of chaos. There's the Shiva, and there's Mary, the exact same emblem used from Hinduism is converted into Romanism. Revelation 17 and 5, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. The mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. That's the woman on the beast of false religions. Nostradamus was a 14th century French psychic. And as I explained in the last lesson, a psychic is demon possessed. They give half truth and half lies. A deception is Satan. And when you translate Nostradamus, it's the demonic spirit called Our Lady. And this is the Our Lady demonic spirit that appeared in Lourdes to Bernadette and to several other places. They see this vision of Mary, but it's nothing of, remember, demons don't die and they live forever. So that demonic spirit, the Our Lady, left Nostradamus when he died and then appeared to Bernadette over at Lourdes and wherever else the Catholics claim that the Our Lady spirit is speaking to young girls across the world. It's nothing but a money-making deception from Satan. The Our Lady, called Nostradamus in the 14th century, possessed the psychic Nostradamus. That spirit left and appears. Mary cannot come down here from heaven on earth and talk to anyone. That's not in the Bible. Her name is not mentioned after Acts chapter 2 in the New Testament after she went up into the upper room, she was born in sin, went to the upper room and had to be filled with the Holy Ghost like the rest of the other apostles and was baptized in her son's name, Jesus, in the water for the remission of sin. She did not rise from the dead and come back as Jesus did. Then you have the crown of the Pope. See this crown with the three layers matches the triple layer crown from the Babylonian God. Right here is the Babylonian God with the three layers. The sunburst crescent moon calipers and the star bale. On his arm is the star bale, which is also the star, the sunburst star on the Pope's robes. So these are practices of Babylon copied by the Vatican and white popes to worship the sun god, S sun god. And the pope is the fifth trump or major arcana on the tarot card. Here's the Mayan serpent sun god coming out of the mouth of the dragon. And here's the three-tier crown, just like the popes in Rome wear. There's the Catholic monstrous solar disk with the sun rays right there. IHS says, I am the Savior. And when you turn upside down, it says Shiva with the upside down cross of Lucifer. And that's what they use is worshiping Ishtar, Shiva. It's Babylonian worship transferred to Rome in 133 BC the religion of Babylon and worship to Ishtar Easter the sun goddess became so general that Rome was called the new Babylon solar cult see Jeremiah 7 and 44 where they worshiped the Queen of Heaven back when they were in Babylon Apollo was also worshiped throughout the Roman Empire and traditionally Celtic lands he was most often seen as the healing and sun god. These are all false religions. Sunday. This came from the Catholic Church Bulletin in 1987. You can see the sunburst of Shiva. 
the Babylonian gods there. And they said Sunday was a daylight sprang from darkness, as illustrated above, beginning the great Sunday, Easter time, the feast of creation. See the worship to the sun goddess? The Persian sun god, Mithra, was widely accepted in the Roman world prior to the period of Christian evangelism. Sunday was dedicated to Mithra, which was the Lord receiving the title, the Lord's Day, when they converted that religion to Christianity. They made a combination. In Jeremiah 7, 18, they worshiped cakes and made cakes to the Queen of Heaven to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke him to anger. And this Queen of Heaven name is now Mary in the Catholic Church worshiping Ishtar. All Roman Catholic monstrances have a crescent to hold the wafer god of Babylon in it, thereby depicting an exact duplicate of Babylonian worship of the sun god Baal and the moon god Allah. So here you can see this Egyptian and you can see this is over here in this Catholic monstrance that they used on this altar and they have the crescent moon in here this is all worship to, to Shiva and the sun goddess here it is with the third eye the Shiva Egyptian and you can see the crescent moon as a close-up in the monstrance that the Pope was holding there's the crescent moon to worshiping the moon god Allah and then you have the sunburst to Baal or Baal to the sun goddess. So this is all Hinduism and from Babylon. Here it is more of it with the crescent moon. If you look close at the monstrance, if you're Catholic, go look at the altar. Go look at the monstrance that holds the wafer, the host as they call it. And you'll see a crescent moon and it's all worship, Babylonian worship. Here it is. Right here from Babylon, you can see the exact same thing that the popes and the bishops and the priests in the Catholic Church put on their altar, the crescent moon to Allah and the sun, God. There it is here, close up. The solar de deity of Baal or Baal or Hadad and the crescent moon Allah or Allah. Here it is up here in the seal of an Assyrian seal is the sun resting on the crescent moon. All Babylonian pagan worship adopted by Hindu, India, China, Egypt, and the Catholic Church in Rome. Where did December 25 come from? Was the ancient worship of Tumaz as a child born on December 25th? It was the rebirth of the sun, a pagan god child called Baal Berith, or the Lord of the Fir Tree. That's where the Christmas tree came from. The word Yule is a Babylonian word for infant. December 25th was the pagan Anglo-Saxon Yule Day. Both the Egyptians and Persians celebrated the December 25th. The sun god is a child of the Mithras, the Mithra cult, Horus, Egyptian, Jupiter, Osiris, and if you see my class teaching on the birth of Christ, Kislev 25, because he was Jewish, on Hanukkah, the first night of Hanukkah, you'll see where Christ was born on Kislev 25, not December 25, but Kislev 25. And in the year 1 AD, it fell on December 30, 31. Revelation 18 and 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. The Vatican. Here is the throne of serpents and the doctrines of devils. Here is your Pope sitting on the throne of serpents and the doctrine of devils.
Here's worship to the Babylonian Queen of Heaven, which is Jeremiah 7 and 44. There she is on the moon with the serpent. And this is the zodiac above the head. Their depiction trying to use that there for a holy religion when it's a religion to Isis. Here's the Isis. I'll show you how this is in the shape of a Hindu temple. This shape behind her. And you can see the Isis worship. This is Hinduism with Sheba. Revelation 12, 1, there appeared a great wonder in heaven and a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head was a crown of 12 stars, the zodiac. Allah, the name of God in Islam, historically originates as a moon god, all worshipped in pre-Islamic Arabia, Alat, the Arabian moon goddess, ancient mother of fertility goddess. She formed a triple goddess with these other three names to the morning star, fate, and time. And Muhammad adopted Allah for the God of Islam. He adopted the Hindu religion. See Mary on the moon there? See the similarity? This is from 659 AD. And the Catholic Church combined with the Hinduism. This is all taken from Hinduism. Shiva. See your yoga position. It's all Hinduism. And here's Alat. With the 12 stars on her head with the zodiac. This is the woman on the beast. Drunken with the blood of many false prophets. Here's showing the, the Shiva Lingam. Which is translated from Sanskrit as Mark. And that's the Yoni and the Lingam. Notice the Vatican has the exact same shape as a Hindu temple. These are Hindu temples. There's the blueprint for Hinduism. They call it the key of David, but it's not. This is the key to hell. Here's your lingam, yoni and lingam, exact same shape. Pagan Babylonian religions. The Islamic religion replaced old Hindi altars of worship, the lingam and the yoni. And here's the lingam in the middle and the yoni is this part here. It's actually a male and female depiction is what it's supposed to be. Allah, the moon goddess, replaced by Allah, the moon god, by Muhammad in 659 A.D. So here's a blueprint of a Hindu temple, ancient Hindu temple, and see what I was showing you. Here's the Vatican, it has the exact same shape as a Hindu temple. So it's all Hinduism from Babylon. That's where your Catholic religion is based on, Hindu religion. There's your Yoni, the Lingam, means Mark. In Sanskrit. Here's the Hindu altars where they give the fruits with the lingam and the yoni, and they have the fruit altar. It's all fruits, but they don't eat any meat. They have over thousands and thousands of gods and goddesses in India, and they have these altars to the gods and goddesses. Here it is. It's all fruit and vegetable altars to the gods and goddesses. They still practice this today. So here's the shape. The Dome of the Rock with Mecca. Lingam, it's Hinduism to Shiva. All it is was they copied the Hindu religion. And then I will teach you on CERN. I want you to see CERN here. And there's Shiva in the center. Their mascot. Here's altars to Shiva. See the lingam and the yoni, Hindu temple shape. Here's their altars in India where they do all this to their altars, to their gods and goddesses. Now here's the Catholic altar that they do to Jesus. Over here is the Catholic altar. Similar here, this was in Louisiana. Statue worship to the statue. 
and on the fruit and vegetable altars to the gods and goddesses, just like the Hindus and the Hindi religion. Here's altars to Mary. See the similarity to Shiva? Here's more altars to Mary. They're fruit and vegetables, just like the lingam and the yoni in India. Here's your crescent moon in the monstrance. There's the crescent moon to Allah. Here it is here. There's the sunburst. And here's Shiva. All it is is a religion to Shiva. That's where your trinity comes from. The second person in the Godhead. Revelation 18 and 10. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. In one hour, Rome will fall completely destroyed. In one hour. And here's the old reconstruction of the Ishtar Gate in Babylon, similar to the Vatican and Hollywood. Revelation 18.21 And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus, with violence, shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Daniel's statue, the last generation, is where they mixed iron and clay. This is the Catholic doctrine. They changed the doctrine of the water baptism and being filled with the Holy Ghost. And this rock that's going to come down from Peter, the rock, Peter, who has the keys of the kingdom, is the Jewish fisherman who preached to the Jews, Acts 2.38, is the rock that will destroy the Catholic Kingdom. Here's your Roman Empire, Greek, Babylon. This is all copycats. Acts 4.10 Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doeth this man stand here before you whole. 4, 11 and 12. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Only the name of Jesus of Nazareth. You can't be saved by the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Those are not names. Those are titles. They have no power for salvation. Revelation 6 and 3. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see the red horse. The second seal is opened. Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and the power was given to him that sat thereon, to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword to kill one another. Here you have the guns. The machine guns in the Islamic religion is known for their blood and taking heads off with swords. Began in around 620 A.D., Prophet Muhammad changed the worship of one true God to a moon God, Allah and Allah, and the prophet Ishmael, who is not of the promise in Genesis 17. Ishmael is not the son of the promise of Abraham. Then Muhammad wrote a new Bible, the Quran, from the Quraysh tribal manual from India, and jihad is death to the Jews and death to the Christians. And they also see the Ottoman Empire. They have fought with the church, the word of God, for centuries centuries and these are not the sons of the promise these are the sons of the concubine ishmael was the child he also became a circumcised jew in genesis 17 the first circumcised jew was the prophet ishmael because abraham who was a jew circumcised him 
per God's orders. Isaac was born a year later, and he was of both the Jews, Sarah and Abraham. He is the true blood. Isaac is the son of the promise, not Ishmael. The Red Horse Sprout, an increase in ownership of weapons for mass destruction, increase in godless mass shootings, kidnappings, trafficking, and anti-Semitism, anti-fundamentalist Christian Bible in schools and public gatherings. This is your Red Horse going throughout the world, destroying and killing people in massive numbers and using weapons of mass destruction. The Bible says our weapons are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of every stronghold. Those who live by the gun will die by the gun. Revelation 6, 5, the third seal. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. This is the third seal it has been opened. Increase in food prices. Revelation 6, 6, And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts saying, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. There's a decrease in food production and an increase in food prices. So it will take a day's wages to buy a dozen eggs now, or a loaf of bread. The Jesuits are the Society of Jesus, and they are of the Black Horse. Loyola was created the Jesuit Society of Jesus of the Catholic Church in 1541. And he brought false, enhancing the false doctrine when the church was going into the Reformation Age of Light and the Protestants were breaking away with Martin Luther away from the Catholic doctrine, the Jesuits revved up their non-Christian doctrine, and he is at the head of the helm in 1541, and it has continued today. And if you notice the word Savior, like Xavier University, Xavier High School, they took the X out of Savior and replaced it with an X. It is no longer religion of the Savior. They took the X out, S out, and replaced it with the X. Here is the what the Jesuits rule today. They have all of these called assistancies across the world, controlling these many nations with their false doctrine. The Jesuits rule with false doctrine created from 1541. They're called the Black Popes. That's why they are the Black Horse. The Black Pope has the ear of the president. Every president has a Black Pope assigned to it over in the United States. So for the eight years, he was the advisor to Obama. The Jesuits were previously known as the Crusaders. The new Black Pope, who is the advisor to the United States president, is now Father Arturo Soso. And they are elected, and then they are the back door to the Catholic dominancy over the world. They are called the Black Popes. And they go across the world with their false doctrine to push their agenda. The Black Pope of the Jesuits. Catholicism is Egyptian Hindu religion of Babylon, pagan roots. If you see the crescent arms for the Catholic Church, the Jesuits, you will see how it matches the Egyptian scarab. It is totally from Egypt and Hinduism. See the scarab? See the crescent? Matches the scarab. All Hinduism and Egyptian. There's Mary's beads, the 53 beads of Egypt and Hinduism. Worship to Allah and the Queen of Heaven. 
This is not the religion of Jesus Christ that Peter and Paul brought to us in the New Testament. None of this is. Who owns Washington, D.C.? London, the District of Columbia, and the Vatican. D.C. has its own flag and own independent constitution. The Act of 1871 passed by Congress created a separate corporation known as the United States and a corporate government for the District of Columbia. Thus, D.C. acts as a corporation through the Act. The flag of Washington's District of Columbia has three stars, depicting D.C., District of Columbia, the Vatican City, and the City of London. The last three city-states in the world is the City of London, who controls the money, the Washington, D.C., which controls the military, and the religion, which is controlled by the Vatican, the Holy See, H-O-L-Y-S-E-E, -E, which I will cover later, and you will see the 666, and in Hebrew, this is the Vav, which stands for the V, which is the ma for male or man or nail. See the Vav, Vav, Vav. It used to be W in the old Hebrew, but now it stands for a V. There's your mark of the beast, the lingam, the mark of the beast. Revelations 13 and 11, I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Daniel 7.25 And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and to think to change the times and the laws. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. And this is during the seven years of the tribulation hell, which is coming up, at the end of Gentile times, and that's when the Antichrist will rise its head. The New World Order, Georgia Guidestones in 1979, you go down to Georgia and see these stones, which was put up by the Masons, the Illuminati, signed off on it. And if you read the first line here, the first commandment, this is the New Ten Commandments, Maintain humanity under 500 billion in perpetual balance with nature. So they are allowing COVID to come in. The U.S. government allowed the COVID to come in through the shores on California, allowing those ships to come in with the military that were infected. And over, we had the largest number of people killed in the world in America. Over a million people died of COVID due to the inadequate shore protection. And if you read these Ten Commandments, you will see what the new world order is. Revelation 6 and 7, And when he had opened the fourth seal, he heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. The pale horse, the gray horse, Revelation 6 and 8, And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. Here's the extreme famine in India, 1857. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly. And if you're hooked on prescriptions, how many pills do you take in a day? How many pills? And sports gets many young people hooked and addicted to prescriptions through sports at schools. is a terrible addiction to drugs due to the injuries. And if you know anybody that's been on heroin, here's your before and the after. Same girl after addiction to heroin. And they pick their faces apart. Iran and Iraq sell 90% of the opioids to the world. And heroin 
has been legal in Italy since 1989, daily dead body pickup with needles still in the arms, legal in Italy. And the mafia comes over to America with their heroin. Iran and Iraq comes over with the opioids. And these two countries, between the mafia and the Iran and Iraq selling of opioids, has brought in the horse of death, the black horse. And if you look at stores, have you checked your neighborhood? Hook of supplies and drugs sold in your neighborhood and cell phone stores. And as you drive by, look at the mobile phone stores and you'll see the advertising for a hookah. What is a hookah? It's an old opium pipe. Talons of Satan, hooked. Hooking our young people on opioid drugs in these places. Here's the hookah bar, the Prince hookah, and this is where they go in and buy equipment to do the opium and the drugs. And if you do Google search, for the word for a hookah and go to Google Maps, you will see how many sell these opium pipes and the drugs to go with it in your neighborhood. Just go to Google Maps and type in hookah and you will see how many are there. Revelation 6, 9, And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they had. Here's the fifth seal opened. 6.10 And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true? Dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? The two witnesses are due to show up Elijah, and there's always a date on who the second one is, and they are going to witness and record the wedding day of the rapture of the bride. The two witnesses, Elijah and the other prophet, is due to show up the day of the king, Yom HaMelech, and the two witnesses of Revelation are to show up, and that will be the mark of the end of the Gentile time of salvation, and they're going to record the wedding day of the rapture of the bride, which is the church of the book of Acts, not Matthew 28, 19. Zechariah 1, 16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. My house shall be built in it, saith the Lord of hosts, and a line shall be stretched forth upon Jerusalem. Zechariah 1, 17. Cry yet, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, My cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad, and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. The last Jewish temple will be rebuilt after the rapture, right at the point of the rapture, the end of Gentile salvation, and they will start the live animal sacrifice that they haven't done for 2,000 years. Since 70 A.D. when the temple was destroyed. They have the priests ready. Everything's ready. They just need the two witnesses down here who is going to help them measure and put the temple together. Zechariah 2.1 I lifted up mine eyes again and looked, and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. And if you read Ezekiel 32-43, through 43, which is the same as Revelations 10 and 11, the two witnesses... Mark the end of the Gentile times, beginning the seven-year tribulation, where the Jews are going to rebuild their temple. And the rapture of the bride, the church, is already out of here. Zechariah 2.2, 2, Then said I, Whither goest thou? And he said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is the breadth thereof, and what is the length thereof. Zechariah 2, 3, And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him. 2, 4, And said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls for the multitude of men and cattle therein. Jerusalem's going to be rebuilt. 2, 5, For I, saith the Lord, 
will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory, I will be the glory in the midst of her. He will protect Jerusalem forever. Zechariah 2 6. Ho, ho, come forth, and flee from the land of the north, saith the Lord, for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven, saith the Lord. The Jews have been spread abroad like the four winds of the heaven. 2 7. Deliver thyself, O Zion, thou dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. Come out of the world. 2 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you, for he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. The Jews are the apple of his eye. Don't touch them. 2 10. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, saith the Lord. 2.11. And many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, and thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto thee. 2.12. And the Lord shall inherit Judah, his portion in the Holy Land, and shall choose Jerusalem again. Revelation 6 and 12. And beheld, when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. See also Isaiah 13, 10, Joel 2, 10, Matthew 24, 29, which repeats this again four times in the Bible. The sixth seal is open. Revelation 6, 13. Now the rapture of the bride has already happened. And the stars of heaven fell into the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire, and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, the moon into blood, before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. Revelation 6.14 And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. 6.15 And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Everybody on the earth Tried to hide. Revelation 6.16 And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne of heaven and from the wrath of the Lamb. That would be the throne of heaven and from the wrath of the Lamb. The Lamb of God is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No other. Revelation 6.17 for the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? No one. The prophets wrote about it, and it shall come to pass. Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. So if you've not repented of your sins to be saved from this wrath and anger of God coming, you will be destroyed. 13.10 For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Joel 2.30, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. 2.31, and the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. 
Joel 2.32, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, which is Jesus Christ, shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Matthew 24, 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. 24 and 30, which is the same as Ezekiel 43. Read all of it. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man, coming in the clouds of heaven with power and glory. And when you read Ezekiel 43, the exact same prophecy is prophesied then for coming up, and we are at that time now, 2,000 years later. Matthew twenty four thirty one, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect, from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. The rapture, who those who obeyed Acts 2, verses 1 through 39, 10, 43 through 48, and Acts 19, 1 through 6, are the Bride of Christ. If you've only done Matthew 28, 19, you are not the Bride of Christ. You have to redo your water baptism in Jesus' name. You must be born again and filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, or you are not his bride, and you will not go up in the rapture. Lesson 1, Chart 5F, Israel Regathered. The Remnant, the Star of Jacob, Numbers twenty four seventeen. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and it shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Sheth. Leviticus twenty three thirty six, Shemini Atzerath. What is that? The seven days ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall offer an offering made by the fire unto the Lord. It is a solemn assembly, and ye shall do no servile work therein. And on Tishri 22 on the Jewish calendar, beginning, first called, in the beginning, it was first called Ethanim, Ethanim, Ethanim was the calendar month, but it's now called Tishri. It's the same one, H388, which means enduring. Deuteronomy 30 and 3. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God has scattered thee. Israel is going to be regathered from across the world and taken to Israel. Shemini Atzeret. And in the eighth day they made a solemn assembly, for they kept the dedication of the altar seven days and the feast seven days. This is Second Chronicles 7 and 9, and it's always on Tishri 22. 22 is the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet which means last. Nehemiah 8.18, Shemini Atzerat, it's mentioned again. Also day by day, from the first day unto the last day, he read in the book of the law of God. And they kept the feast seven days. And on the eighth day was a solemn assembly, according unto the manner. And Shemini Atzerat is called the eighth day of the solemn assembly. It happens after Sukkot. Psalm 102, 15 through 16. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. And that you will see in Ezekiel 32 through 42 and Ezekiel 43 
is when he comes through the east gate and tells him where to build the altar on the last temple to be rebuilt during the Great Tribulation. Psalm 147 and 2, The Lord does build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the outcasts of Israel. Isaiah 11 and 10, which was written in 740 to 701 B.C., And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. Isaiah 11, 11, a second time. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, from Egypt, and from wherever. A second time, the Lord is going to return to help Jerusalem rebuild the last temple. Coming back a second time. He came in 1 AD. He's going to come again on the day of the rapture. Isaiah eleven twelve, And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth, gathered together the dispersed of Judah, not Islam, not the Catholics, the Jews of Judah, which was the fourth son of Israel. And we are of the tribe of Judah. If you convert to Judaism in the Bible and do the book of Acts with the first covenant, and Jesus was from of the tribe of Judah, not Moses. Isaiah 14 and 1, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Jeremiah 23 and 3, This was written in 627, 586 B.C. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whither I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And this is written in the word of God, a promise made to the Jews, and nobody can change it, remove it, or delete it. Jeremiah 23 and 6, And in his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our Righteousness. His name, Hashem, which is Yahashua in Hebrew, the Lord Yehovah, our righteousness, which is Jesus, the I Am, in English. And this is taken from the Orthodox Jewish Bible, 2002, which has the most correct pronunciation and the Hebrew, original Hebrew, that they used in the time of Jesus. Go to the Orthodox Jewish Bible, version 2002, and you will see that his name was Yahashua in Acts 2.38. Jeremiah 23 and 8, But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries, whither I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Jeremiah 29 and 14, And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations, and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord, and I will bring you again into the place whence I have caused you to be carried away captive. Ezekiel 36 and 19, written in 593 to 570 B.C. And I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way, and according to their doings I judged them. 36 and 24. For I will take you from among the heathen, and gather you out of all countries, and I will bring you into your own land. USA is the second largest Jewish nation in the world. And he's going to gather the Jews out of the United States of America and bring them into Israel at the end of times for protection and safety. 
Ezekiel 36, 28, And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. The Jews are his people first. When Peter was told to feed the sheep, those were the Jews first. Ezekiel 36, 33, Thus saith the Lord God in that day, I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities. I will also cause you to dwell in the cities, and the wastes shall be builded. Ezekiel 36, 34, And the desolate land shall be tilled, whereas it lay desolate in the sight of all that pass by. 36, 35, And they shall say, This land that was desolate is become like the Garden of Eden, and the waste and the desolate and ruined cities are become fenced and are inhabited. Read Ezekiel chapter 32 through 43, Malachi 4 verse 5, Revelations 10 through 11. It shall come to pass. Ezekiel 36, 36. Then the heathen that are left round about you shall know that I, the Lord, build the ruined places and plant that that was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken it, and I will do it. And I is singular in the English language, not plural, not a trinity. The I am is singular. Ezekiel 36, 37. Thus saith the Lord God, I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them. I will increase them with men like a flock. Ezekiel 36, 38. As the holy flock, as the flock of Jerusalem, that's the sheep Peter was supposed to feed, the flock of Jerusalem, in her solemn feasts, so shall the waste cities be filled with flocks of men, and they shall know that I am the Lord. That's singular, not three people. Shemini Atzeretz is the Eighth Day Assembly, and this year it's going to be on October the 7th, 2023, Tishri 22, which is the last letter in the Hebrew alphabet, in the year 5784 is what the Jews are on. And you will see 22 is the set 22nd letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Go to Psalm 119. You can see it there. And it means last blood covenant. Atzerat means a psalm assembly. The day after Sukkot. It's called the eighth day of the year. It's the last day of the Torah reading. And then on the next day... On Tishri 23, they have Simchat Torah, where they start to reread the Torah all over again, is the first reading. But this is the last day of the last reading of the Torah for the Jewish calendar. It stays the same every year. And notice, when you do the gematria, when you do the number, it comes to 365. Years of silence, 400 B.C. to 1 A.D. B.C. is before Christ. A.D. is Anno Domini, the year of the Lord. The Roman Empire was ruling Jerusalem from 63 B.C. to 476 A.D. Therefore, Rome was using their calendar for dates. If you compare the Jewish calendar of the year 3762 on Kislev 25, which is Hanukkah, and it equals the exact same date for December 30 to 31 in 1 A.D., some big event had to have happened that week in history for Rome to change their calendar from B.C. before Christ to A.D. in the year of the Lord. And it happened in the year 1 A.D. on Kislev 25, which is the first night of Hanukkah. A great miracle happened there, and it's called the miracle of the light. See my class on Hanukkah on the YouTube and I will show you all the dates. 5G, wars and rumors of wars, increasing. Matthew 24, 6, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, and see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24, 33 and 35, 
So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Nobody can change them. Matthew 13 and 7 And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. Second Peter 3.10 But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Second Peter 3.11 Seeing then that all these things must shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Second Peter 3.12 Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. 313, Nevertheless we, according to his promise, which is in Acts chapter 1, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Revelations 14 and 7, Saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. Worship him who made heaven and earth. Revelations 14 and 9, the mark. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. 14.10, The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, who is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And if you go to Q-O-F, which is the Q in Hebrew, Kof, for queen, the woman, and this is the woman on the back of the beast, the whore, and here's all the mental illnesses and drugs and everything, put into these letters, the queen of heaven, the Babylonian woman that people worship. Revelations 14, 11, and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. And in Hebrew, Here's the tooth in Hebrew, the sheen. Here's what it looked like, teeth, in 2000 BC, and they changed the lettering, and now it looks like this today. It stands for chaos or teeth. It also has a double blessing, a double meaning, and it also can mean a blessing. But here is the mark of the beast, the chip, the blue tooth, tooth. It's the 21st letter. Here's a patch for Regulating medication, if you wear a patch, the RFID patch is connected to the chip and the mark of the beast. And I'll show you where it's connected to. Anybody wearing a patch, it has an RFID chip on you, regulating the drug. This is the mark of Cain in Genesis 4, 13 through 15. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth. And gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. 20, Revelations 14 and 20. And the winepress was trodden without the city, and the blood came out of the winepress, even unto the horses' bridles, by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. Matthew 24, Matthew 4 and 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. If your church is not doing that today, then you are not in the right church. 
Chart 5H, CERN, the 666 system. CERN, what is CERN? Right before our eyes, the Lord has revealed the gift of discernment. The mark of the beast, the number is 666. Discernment is in the Bible, and if you look at the word in the middle, C-E-R-N is the mark of the beast, and the number is 666, and I will show you what CERN is. Discernment is in the Bible, the mark of the beast, the name is given in the Bible. Here is CERN. This is over in Switzerland, and I will show you what I have found on the internet, what CERN was. See the RFID chip. There's the chip right there. The RFID is on the outside of the building of CERN. Ecclesiastes 1, 9 and 14. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. 14. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Revelations 13 and 16. And he, who is the Antichrist, causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And we are now doing the eye retina to open your phones and computers. You are now using your eye. Mark of the beast. Here's that tooth, the chip, the tooth that's in your head. And here's the size of an RFID, which people are putting in their hands. Sweden is all chipped entirely. Revelations 13 and 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So it's coming up in, during the tribulation the seven years of tribulation hell, when the Antichrist is in charge, the one world president, that you will not be able to buy or sell unless you have this mark, or the name, or the number. Revelations 13 and 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred and three score and sixty-six. And I will show you the connection of the 666 to the World Wide Web. Discernment. This is called CERN if you go on their website. It's also Alice Atlas. It's in Marin, Switzerland. So the Hebrew letter for the V or the W, it used to be a W, now it's a V looks just like this, a mark. It has the value of six, stands for man, peg, hook. And if you look at the CERN symbol, it has the six, six, six in the symbol for CERN. And see the internet? The wheel within the wheel from Ezekiel. Here's your wheel within the wheel. Also can be your lingam and yoni. The wheel within the wheel is a 666, the number of man. See the sixes? Here's your six. Six, six, six. You can see it. And these are all about the I. Three men rule the world. I will show you that. The city-state, the last three in the world. The city of London, Washington, D.C., and the Vatican. CERN, C-E-R-N, stands for Council European Research Nuclear, creators of the World Wide Web, the Internet, in 1954. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, known as CERN, is an inter 
governmental organization that operates the largest particle physics laboratory in the world. Established in 1954, it is based in a northwestern suburb of Geneva on the France-Switzerland border. It comprises 23 member states and Israel, is currently the only non-European country holding full membership. CERN is an official United Nations General Assembly observer. You can find out more about CERN on Wikipedia if you go to this site here. And this is where the internet was created in 1954 when a group of scientists got together and wanted to communicate their data across the world. They created the internet so that they could exchange data across the world. So here's your RFID chip linked to CERN. Here it is where people put it in their hand. Here's the G chip now. Look at the size. Controlled by a satellite. So if all the electric's out, this chip is still, if everything's turned off at night, the chip is still can be controlled by a satellite powered by sunlight, not electric power. So there's three chips in your TV. There's Your phone's on all the time even though it's off. TV's off, it's still on. The chips are controlled by satellite. And the G chip, Gmail, is pride, the letter for pride, number three, the Antichrist Trinity. God is three persons. The G chip, Gmail, the third letter in Hebrew. For pride and lift it up. See the pictures match. The World Wide Web, the wheel within the wheel, the wheel within the wheel, your eye, see Walmart matches it, the symbol, and the Vatican St. Peter's Square matches the same symbol, the wheel within the wheel, the lingam and the yoni, the wheel within the wheel, 666, here's CERN. And I showed you earlier how Shiva, which is the mascot of CERN for Chaos and Storm. And if you look up the pictures for CERN, this is their mascot, Shiva. The wheel within the wheel. Ayin is a letter for I. It's just a mark. If you don't know Hebrew, the 16th letter is the Ayin for I, and it's just a mark. When you look at Hebrew, it's just a mark. The wheel within the wheel. Here's Rome. And they have that eye opening at the top of all their temples. And CERN has an opening at the top there, all the way up, matches. See the similarity? Here we go around with all the statues they worship, gods and goddesses of Hinduism. And here's your Wiccan. And in St. Peter's Square, you will find these symbols written on the wind, the wind markers, Wiccan. Switzerland and Geneva part the Atlas Cavern and the CERN Atlas. This is 92 meters below the ground. Below the ground. Here's the motherboard. All the medical and religious data is being stored in CERN. When you go to the doctor, you always have to tell them what religion you are. You mark it on the chart, they put it in the computer system, and if you notice, all your data is being put into a computer now when you go to the doctor. No more paper charts. This is the motherboard. These scientists were the creators of the MRI and the CAT scan equipment. They are gathering all your medical data, phone data, all your religious data. Everything's gathered together over in CERN, and this is the beast. Here's where all the medical data, social security number, ID, everything is stored over at CERN. There's the mascot for the CERN lab, Shiva. And you have your Illuminati and Freemason, which is part of this group, which has that Shiva there. 
World Wide Web. This looks like a spider's web. See the web? World Wide Web. There's Shiva, the mascot of CERN. This is outside their building. See the web? Black Widow Web. There's the experiment during the Large Hadron Colander 2009 where they tried to make the God particle. There's the RFID chip simulation. There it is. There's your chip. RFID chip. There it is outside the building. See? That's outside the building of CERN. And also your Atlas building. Here's your location in Atlas or Alice Billing. You can find it on Google Maps. There's the Idea Square, and all the names are written in there. There's a recruitment. You can go on their website and go and find out everything about CERN on their website. Who is the G5, G7, G20 summit meetings that all of our leaders of countries go to? The largest one is G5, which is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa called the BRICS. And this is G5. They're exclusive. Only certain countries can be in certain groups. And this is what these are summit meetings of leaders of the world. Brazil was the birthplace of the Jesuit Pope. Happy is the man that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever. I have classes on YouTube for your Strong's Concordance lookup, you don't need a book anymore. I can show you what websites to use to look up Hebrew and Greek definitions. And I have the class in Hebrew where I teach Hebrew the basic letters and words to go with the Hebrew that you can learn very easily. I have classes in that. And then I have the class for the pastors, preachers, ministers, and beginners. Jesus, the hope of salvation, which shows you about being born again in the Spirit and born again in the water for salvation from sin to get you ready for the rapture. Very easy class. All these charts and lessons are available from the Life for Living Home Bible Study on the PentecostalPublishing.com website and you can get the lessons and quizzes to hand out to students and also a certificate of graduation. Thank you for coming to this class. Please click and subscribe and see more classes on my new channel, Search for Truth 2 Home Bible Study for teachers and pastors and students by the Pentecostal Publishing House. Thank you very much.